many of us all around the world and working within different sectors have a strong need, sense that we need to do something differently because the, the problems are, are that big. If we look at the Agenda 2030, I think it urges us to find new ways of how to collaborate in a better way. I'm working at a, at a regional level in East Africa and we have a lot of common problems we're dealing with across the countries and I have the sense that we need um, some innovative solutions to convene people together. Soy parte del equipo del Sustainable Oceans Lab. Es una iniciativa innovadora promovida por, por el gobierno alemán. Eh, cuya idea es juntar a distintas personas que trabajan en temas eh, marinos muy muy diversos y, y trabajar juntos para lograr construir ideas eh, colectivas que funcionen para mejorar en general la situación de los océanos. During the lab we've selected projects to become involved with and these projects can range in, in a variety of areas um, depending upon the, the participants and, and what they chose as issues that they like to address and where they have particular interest. And in, in my case, it's traceability and seeing how uh, traceability can help build uh, platforms of data that can be used to help move fishery issues forward. At a Canon Kai Alliance level, we are uh, receiving you know, real-time feedback and we are you know, creating new partnerships around um, our initiative and also helping others move through their process. What's really been rich is the diversity of cultures and, and individuals, uh, backgrounds, uh, whether you're, you're a, a, a fisheries interest or whether you're a marine biologist interested in coral reefs or all of these we've brought together in such a way that we've been able to have all this expertise available to us. That wouldn't have happened without the lab. The Sustainable Oceans Lab has helped build uh, an awareness of different tools to use. And so these tools of deconstructing a problem and then assessing it in, in a group format and then rebuilding it differently rather than just identifying a problem and then trying to come up with a direct solution towards that. The lab has opened my eyes to taking a different approach to uh, doing things differently. When we're putting together a management team, when I'm putting together a, a team to look at uh, uh, an, an activity, for instance, whether it's cable laying in the Sargasso Sea or whether it's a, a form of fishing in one of my marine protected areas in the southeast region. Mi trabajo está muy enfocado a una escala muy, muy local. Entonces es muy frecuente cuando trabajas a un nivel comunitario o a un nivel regional pequeñito que te enfrasques en el nivel de tu trabajo. Sin embargo, cuando te sacan y te ponen en una iniciativa de esta naturaleza, te das cuenta de que el, el, el reto es mucho mayor, de que la diversidad está ahí. Somos distintos países, distintos enfoques, distintas culturas intentando finalmente combatir algo que nos atañe a todos y que nos afecta a todos. All of these people I didn't know before this set of modules and it's just a, a lot of experience and expertise in, in this group. So for me it's, it's extremely valuable to know these people and to have access to their networks and, and to potentially work together with them in, in, in the future. Bringing all of that into the business environment that I work in, I believe is allowing me to communicate differently with, with my management team and so that, that creates basically an innovative environment that we didn't previously have. At a personal level, it's an opportunity to grow in terms of leadership capacity and facilitation capacity, which are practical skills that we can take back directly to our ecosystems and uh, strengthen our work. Right now, I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm sort of born again in a way, so to speak, to where I have new ideas, new, new thoughts. There are different ways to get to an end point, and you need to try as many of those as possible. The more you try, the more successful you'll be, and the more opportunities we have like that, the greater we'll do for the future. I'm personally really grateful to be part of this initiative. Um, I think it reinforces my belief that we are never done learning, and we are never done learning to listen to others. Well, right now here in Cape Town, we're having our third module, and it's sort of like bringing this, this project into some closure in a way, but I, I, I really see it as an opening. I really see what we're doing right now is building for the future.